Hello viewers, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be how to construct the golden ratio. These are all the materials you'll need with a little bit of paper, a straight edge, a compass, and a pencil, along with some paper. So step one is to just construct a segment, we'll call it AB, right in the middle here. A. B. Then, with your compass, you're going to construct the meet the midpoint of AB, and that's done by making a, a little past halfway an arc mark with your compass at A and pencil pointing toward B. Then the opposite direction, compass at B, pencil point uh, pointing to A, and from those two points, you can make a, another. Uh, I call it the football shape that shows the midpoint, an arc above and below from this intersection, and a mark arc above and below from the, this intersection. The arcs will connect and then use your straight edge to mark down through that segment that will bisect and make a perpendicular at AB. So now these two are, are congruent segments. Third step is to construct a perpendicular at B. We're going to be working with that one a little bit more. So what you do is you extend that segment a little bit. I used a dash, use a dash line to distinguish the extension of it from the segment. And then in a similar way, you that was done with the midpoint, you make a uh, marks like a, a fence around B. I'll just have a, a random compass distance. And then from those two, I extend the compass point a little bit more. And then above and below from those places, be, be sure you're using the ones, the force field around B or the fence around B and not the ones that you just used to find the midpoint then an arc above and below. And that will be a perpendicular. Doesn't have to be drawn in fully, but it can be a, a dashed line. And we're interested in going above this segment. All right, so we got a dashed line. Let's make it a little darker here. And the segment is from A to B. Let's make that a little darker. And we have the middle. I'm going to label that one M. Let's make it M. All right. After that, you want to mark a point D up here so that MB is equal to DB. So I uh, calibrate my compass point here. I might have to change it so that now I have the midpoint and I'm going to swing it up and make an arc. It intersects up there. I'm going to call that point D. This segment and this segment are congruent. After that, I draw in AD. We're going to make a triangle out of this before it becomes a golden segment. So I'm going to connect A and D, like so, so I have a triangle. Now, a couple of arcs are being set. We've got a midpoint, we've got the segment, and somewhere along here we're going to find a golden proportion for it, one that is a very a special ratio of, side, of, of length to length. So you draw an arc with center at D and radius DB, so our compass is still dialed in here. I'm going to, along this uh, segment, draw an arc. And I will just name that one uh, E. So that DB and DE are congruent. So it's almost as if there was a circle and I was just drawing it all the way around D. But I'm just going to make an intersection there. That's the only point I'm interested in. Then. One of the last steps here is now to recalibrate your compass so that your compass point is at A and your pencil is at E. That 
is an arc down on your original segment. That one right there, we will mark it C. So now we have AB and the midpoint and now that C. That C is a very special point because the ratio of AB to AC or the large to the small is the same as AC is to CB. You want to go a little further, that is also equal to 1 plus radical 5 over 2, and that's also known as the golden ratio, 1.618 approximately. A very special ratio in nature, in mathematics, in art, and so in other videos you'll see why this is as it is, but we are, we're not going to explore that. We'll have to uh, get the algebra later. This is just now how to construct the golden ratio from compass and straight edge.